Hello, my friends. Today, we're going to be answering the question, what is the cloud? Why is it so important? Why is everybody talking about it? And why should you be learning it? I figured this is a really good time to do an introductory video like this, since there's a whole bunch of new subscribers just joining the channel these days. So I figure it's a good opportunity to step back and just kind of highlight what AWS is, what the cloud is, and how all of this stuff fits together. Um, so in this video, we're going to be talking about obviously what the cloud is. And then secondly, I'm going to show you how to create an AWS account, which just takes a few minutes. And then finally, Finally, we're going to be launching a EC2 machine, which is basically a rented computer on AWS and show you how to log into it. And this is the equivalent of baby steps in AWS land, but everyone has to start somewhere. Am I right? Now, first of all, what is the cloud and why is it so important anyways? Uh, so the cloud is simply somebody else's computer that is used to offer infrastructure services in order for you to host and create applications. So I know that's a mouthful. So let's take a real practical example. Everyone loves to watch Netflix. So when you go to Netflix and you click on that play button, where is all that data about that movie coming from? It has to come from somewhere, right? Well, it's coming from the cloud and it's actually coming from AWS specifically because Netflix is one of AWS's biggest clients. So every single day, if you were to watch a movie or use an Uber or use LinkedIn or log on to Facebook or do all of these different things, you are in some capacity using cloud-based services. It's not that simple though. The cloud is kind of a beast. In terms of AWS, there's over 175 different services as of today. That is an absolute mammoth amount of services. I can tell you I've been using AWS for over five years now. I probably know maybe 15 to 20 services really well and I know the existence of maybe 50 other ones. So you don't need to know all of the options here. You don't need to know about every single service. There's some key players that you're going to be using from day to day that you should get very familiar with. And if you're wondering what those services are, I actually have an excellent roadmap for learning AWS. I'll put that video down in the description section below so you can check it out. So just to recap, cloud is basically the infrastructure that's used to host all these different applications that exist out in the wild. So why is it so important? Why should you actually even care? Well, as a developer, everybody is hiring for the cloud right now, whether it be AWS, Microsoft Azure, GCP, or some small other ones like DigitalOcean. There are so, so many small and large companies that are looking for developers right now that understand the cloud well. So if you're interested and being a well-rounded developer that knows how to host and deploy applications using the cloud, AWS is definitely going to be something that you want to know about. Okay, so that's what the cloud is. Hopefully that gave you a little bit of introductory information. So now let's go into how to actually get started with this. Uh, so I am on aws.amazon.com and this is just the landing page here. And I'm going to go to the top right up here and I'm going to click on sign into the console and we're going to create a brand new account. Uh, so we're going to go down to the bottom here and click on create a new AWS account. This will just take a few moments. So on this next page here, just fill out all your relevant information. So on this next screen here, it's just asking you to fill out some more information. And then once you're all done, you just need to go ahead and click on create an account and continue. So I'm going to go and do that now and just fast forward this really quick. Alrighty. So on the next page, you actually need to put in a credit card number. So don't worry about putting your credit card information in here. They're not going to charge you a ridiculous amount of money, if any money. The good thing to note is that if you're using AWS for the first time on a brand new account, then you get a whole bunch of free tier services. So you get to basically try a whole bunch of stuff for free and not really have to pay for anything. So keep that in mind when you're setting this up. So go ahead and put in your credit card information now and then go ahead and click on verify and add down below. So after you click on the create an account button, you should land on a page that asks you to put in your cell phone number and it'll send you a text message containing a code that you need to enter. So after you do that, you should be landing on the support plan page. And when you're here, go ahead and click on the free service here. Uh, we're not going to be doing anything special. Uh, so at this point, we're ready to sign in. We're ready to log into the cloud and actually do something cool. So go ahead and click on sign into the console. Now you can also do this by going to aws.amazon.com and clicking on sign in in the top right. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and say root user. That is correct. We're going to put in our login information and we're going to go ahead and click on next. 
So here we are in the cloud. Now, congratulations if you made it this far. Uh, so this is the console view, which is just the basic default landing page, which gives you accessors to all the different services that are offered. Uh, so a lot of people like to use the search box to find the services that they're looking for. You can alternatively scroll down here. They have a bunch of different groupings and categorized and a whole bunch of neat different ways. And if you go ahead and click on the services button here, you can see there's a whole ton of different services here. 175 is what I think I I said before and like I said I know maybe 15 to 20 pretty well and I know that maybe 50 or so exist so don't get overwhelmed there's a whole lot to know here but nobody knows all this stuff so don't feel bad about it so there's a whole bunch of different categories there's compute which is basically if you want to rent computers to use as you you please now there's analytic services which kind of speak for themselves there's storage services for storing just raw data maybe even databases there's security and compliance services which help you lock down your account from bad actors there's a whole bunch of different stuff here but what we're going to be using in this example is ec2 which stands for elastic cloud compute and EC2 is just basically a way for you to rent Amazon's computers to do with and use as you please. There are almost no restrictions as long as they don't go against the terms of service, but you can use EC2 machines to host databases, set up a WordPress site, set up a website, host an email server, basically anything that you want to do, you can do using an EC2, again, as long as you play nice. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna go ahead and set up an EC2, and then we're gonna log into it and just play around for a little bit. Uh, so under the landing page here in the search box, I'm gonna go and click on that, and I'm gonna type in EC2, and we're gonna click on the first option here, EC2 virtual servers in the cloud. Click on this guy. And on this next screen here, there's a whole bunch of different options. So we're gonna to go to the instances section on the left over here. We're gonna go ahead and use a wizard to launch an instance. So we're gonna click on the launch instance button and it's gonna bring us the wizard that allows us to create this EC2 machine. So there's a whole bunch of steps here. The first thing that I want you to do is go to the left over here and click on the filter free tier only. That's gonna ensure that you're not gonna accidentally click anything that's gonna cause you to get charged money. Now what we're seeing on the left here and I can scroll down, you can see a little bit more. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different operating systems that you can select from uh, Amazon. Linux, Red Hat, uh, Ubuntu, there's Windows machines. There's a whole bunch of different options with a whole bunch of different configurations that you can select from. And depending on what you're trying to do with the cloud, one of these may be a good solution. Now for this exercise, we're just gonna use the default top one on Amazon Linux. So we're gonna go ahead and click on select in the top right. And we see here we're kind of auto selected the free tier values. So we're using the general purpose machine. It's a T2 micro instance, which is basically the compute power of probably your cell phone. It's probably less powerful than your cell phone to be perfectly honest. And a whole bunch of other details here that you don't really need to care about right now. Um, so you can go ahead and do the advanced configuration by clicking on next and configure the instance details. But I don't wanna get too complicated in this video. I just wanna show you how to get started quickly. Uh, so we're gonna just go ahead and click on review and launch right now. So we're gonna get a summary screen that we're seeing here, which is just basically AWS telling us what we're gonna create here. Again, we don't need to care about any of this right now. We're gonna get into security groups and VPCs and all those topics in other videos. But we're gonna go ahead and click on launch now. Uh, so in this next screen, we need a key pair. And a key pair is just basically like a signature in order to access a EC2 machine in this case. You need to prove that you are the owner of this EC2 machine and you do so using a key pair. So if this is your first time setting up an account, you won't have a key pair. So go ahead and click on create a new key pair. Name this whatever you want. I'm gonna call this AWS Simplified. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on download key pair and make sure you save that onto your machine. This is gonna be useful for you later if you're trying to access this machine from the command line. So at this point, you can go ahead and click on launch instances in the bottom right, and all of this magic is now going to be happening. So if we click on this guy here, I dash some random number letter combination, this will bring us back to the dashboard where we can see our machine is currently in pending mode. And we see this spinner here on the left, which indicates that the machine is currently being booted up. So we can refresh the status over here using this guy in the top right, which is just gonna give us an up-to-date reading on what's going on in this machine. So you can see after I clicked refresh, this turned to running. So now this machine is actually ready to go. So we can finally log into it and start doing what we want. So 
clicking on the row of this machine, you're gonna go ahead and go up to the top and click on actions. You're gonna go and click on connect. And then from this point, you're gonna use EC2 Instance Connect. This is basically a very convenient way for you to connect to your machine through your browser and not having to do so using a terminal. Now, if you want to use a terminal, you're gonna need the public IP, and I'll show you how to do that next. But let's see how this turns out. So we're using EC2 Instance Connect. We're gonna use the default username, which I believe is actually required uh, to use EC2-User, and then go ahead and click on Connect. And we are now about to SSH into this cloud machine. So here we go. This is our own personal machine. Uh, we can do all the little Linux things that we like to do. We can create directories. Um, we can download files. You can install a MySQL server or a WordPress website. Basically anything that you want to do here on this machine, it is yours for the taking. So in this short video, you've learned what the cloud is, why it's important, why you should learn about it, and how to create an account and basically perform some baby steps in AWS. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. I have so many more on AWS, including a roadmap video where I show you how to learn AWS. I tell you what order you should learn the services that are offered. So go ahead and check out that. I'll put that on the left here. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on my next one. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.